Welcome back to my channel. Here I have the measurements for the bedside shelf and a sketch as well. I'll be using this long piece of wood to build the shelf. As for the other things, I'll be needing a staple gun, measuring tape, a saw, a triangle ruler, and a sandpaper. First thing I did was measure 15 inches using measuring tape and marking a small line. Then using the triangle ruler to make a straight, even line. After that, I used the saw, a smaller one because the other one was too heavy, to cut that first piece of wood. I then repeated the process three more times. Once you have all your pieces cut, you're going to want to sand them down. This way everything is smooth and there's no rough edges. I'll assemble the pieces and use a staple gun to put it all together. Here, I'm securing the piece of wood in the middle that acts like a divider. And once that's done, I added a small piece of wood along with some screws to make it easier when I'm screwing it onto the wall. And finally, I'll sand the finished product one more time to make sure it is smooth. And as the final and easiest step, I'll screw the piece onto the wall. So I thought that the project itself was actually pretty fun. I definitely underestimated the whole process of it and the difficulty of it. I, de I thought making the cuts was going to be a lot easier, but I struggled with that the most. I kept, I kept kind of going off to the side, making the cuts um, smaller or too big. That's why with the, I inserted a clip of um, a picture actually of the piece of wood I used and behind it you see like a smaller like more uglier piece of wood and I use that as like a practice one and that one came out really bad so I had that piece to practice with and so then, the more I did the cuts the better I got I wouldn't say I did amazing I want to say I did maybe average below average they did come out a little funky but for the most part I really did enjoy it I just underestimated it like I said um, I didn't think at first I was using this, um, a bigger saw, which was really heavy. And I'm just like, I, I just didn't realize it was going to be that heavy. So I had to switch out, I had to switch out to a smaller one, which made it a little easier. Um, as for the other steps, you know, like measuring, using the measuring tape, all that was like fairly easy. So I'd say definitely using the saw and the nail gun was really scary because, I was afraid that I was going to puncture myself and then on multiple occasions I think maybe two or three times I actually missed and the staple like went off to the side so I had to pull it out <clears throat> with some pliers so yeah I, I think I'm going to continue doing it I do plan on maybe practicing more on cutting because that is something I struggled with a lot. And I feel like now I have a much higher respect for people who do things like this for a living. Especially my dad. He doesn't do it for a living, but he does do it as like a little side thing. So looking at the kitchen and the, and this bar that he built outside, I'm just like, wow, like how did he do that? Like I could barely build a small little shelf. And just looking at those bigger projects, it just sounds impossible to me but you know practice does make perfect this was only the beginning for me so yeah it was pretty good but more difficult than i thought